So Pompeii, the exhibition here at Arizona Science Center, is extremely spectacular and we're thrilled to bring it to the community. We have more than 200 authentic artifacts straight from the National Archaeological Museum in Naples. These pieces were taken right from Pompeii, which is a city that was buried by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD and sealed like a time capsule because it was buried. And it wasn't rediscovered for almost 2,000 years, so these pieces are giving us a glimpse into history. Pompeians as Romans were extremely advanced. They were fabulous artists, they were scholars. Um, when you're looking at the pieces that we have on site, you can see the art coming through, the beautiful carving in the bronze statues that's amazingly lifelike, the carving in the marble. And then when you get to pieces like the cooking equipment, even that looks exactly like the cooking equipment today. Um, and as you move through the exhibition, you'll see everything from housewares, tools, jewelry, and uh, of course, the pieces that everybody loves, uh, the gladiator equipment. So gladiators were treated like rock stars of that time, and although they were um, technically slaves, but they were treated really well and honored because they were entertainers. And medical equipment is another piece uh, that we have here. Uh, several artifacts, scalpels, um, and cups for cupping. We've seen like Michael Phelps and other swimmers who have used cupping. They were doing that 2,000 years ago as well and Romans were known for their advancements in battlefield surgery, so seeing those pieces of equipment um, are particularly spectacular. So the two big statues that we have um, are absolutely breathtaking. The first one that you come across uh, is an honorary statue of an orator, an unnamed orator. Uh, this is a statue that would have been in this person's home, uh, just honoring them as the homeowner. And then the second statue is a wonderful statue of Caligula, uh, who was an emperor. But Caligula was not a loved emperor. He um, was a little bloodthirsty and was not loved by the end of his reign, so a lot of the statues were taken down. So to find a statue of Caligula at all was rare. And when you look at this piece, you can see the initial care that was taken um, when sculpting it. We mentioned that Mount Vesuvius covered Pompeii in its entirety, sealing it like a time capsule. And unfortunately, there were about 2,000 people who didn't make it out of the city. So those people who died were covered by the ash. And as archaeologists were uncovering the city, found these voids in the ash and then filled them with plaster to um, create the last moments uh, and the shapes, poses, um, and facial expressions of the people that died. Uh, so it's extremely emotional um, and again gives us a chance to reflect on what a natural disaster uh, could do to a city, uh, both then and today.